Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville Hockey Podcast. We cover everything Admirals and Predators related. As you can see, Predators, Admirals. Or, in his case, Admiral Admiral Slayer. (laughs) Yes. And his future is very bright. (laughs) Bask in my glory. (laughs) Alright, so we're in a good mood. Our show is brought to you by a very good company. Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your uh, hockey needs. You can get Admiral's jerseys from this year, the blue ones. Uh, you could get the... Uh, probably get the raw ones by request, if they have them. Well, the blue, they alternate back and, year, back and forth. Remember, we switch from our road jerseys to our home jerseys. But well, that don't mean they don't have both of our jerseys. Anyway, long story short. You can ask. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, you could also get Wild Gear, Blackhawks Gear... And you can get retro jerseys from, like, the other teams, because we have seen old Red Wings and Capitals and Flames jerseys. Yep. So, today, the Predators... Oh, you can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com, or... Call them at 414-800-7585. Or visit them... At 2002 West Howard Avenue. Cool. See, we have to complete the commercial, because we only did a partial commercial. All right, so in this game... Go. All right. I gotta get a it hockey was a stay. five-two uh, butt whooping. Predators beat up the Blackhawks. All right. Uh, shots on goal were thirty-one thirty Chicago. Right. Face-off percentage was fifty-five percent for the Hawks, uh, forty-five percent for Predators. Predators were zero for two. Blackhawks were one for three on the power play. Uh, penalty minutes were uh, six for the Predators, four for the Blackhawks. Hits were uh, forty to thirty-five for the Blackhawks. Uh, the block shots were the Predators had 28 block shots compared to the Blackhawks 11, and giveaways were 11 8 Nashville. All right, so scoring in the first period was uh, Victor Arvidsson with his 10th, was an assist for Roman Yossi, his t- 32nd. Um, and then oh, his assist, yeah. Yossi it, gets a lot of assists. And Forsberg, his 16th. That is Yossi's 13th game in a row with points, or a point. Um, and then scoring his first professional goal, one second, let me uh, edit some stuff here, you know, because we over here like to do a lot of weird things. Scoring his first professional goal was Colin Blackwell. Uh, well, if you're calling, so I don't hit yeah. I almost smashed his phone because his phone was in a bad spot. <laughs> All right, so Colin Blackwell scored his first goal with an assist from Yakov Trenin. Uh, Trenin... I miss Trenin. His third. Then uh, scoring his tenth goal of the season because, you know, MDC had to say that he needed to step it up was Matt Duchesne with an assist from Ekholm, his 20th. Uh, then Dominic Kubiak scored his 14th for the Blackhawks with an assist from Taves, his 22nd, and Keith, his 11th. Then DeBrinket scored his 11th on the power play with an assist from Taves, his 23rd, and Kane, his 32nd. Then an empty netter scored by Nick Benino, his... No, no, it was unassisted by Benino. Yeah, Nick Benino scored his 14th in an empty net. That was an empty net as well? Yes. We had two empty netters? Yes, and then scoring his first professional goal in what? He's been around for over a decade. Who is this guy? Pekka Rene. Hang on a second because I got to show you guys a photo. This photo is amazing. And Pekka Rene scores his first professional goal. He is the second Nashville Predator player to ever goalie to score a goal. The other one was Chris Mason. Nice. In 2005-2006, April 15th against the Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, the goaltender pulled was David Leve- Le- David Nevelu. Um, the last goalie to score one was Mike Smith in 2013. He did it against the Detroit Red Wings. The goalie pulled was Jimmy Howard. Uh, the goalie pulled tonight for the Blackhawks was Corey Crawford. Corey Crawford did a... He, he struggled. But our... Uh, Offense, their uh, up their up tempo style definitely showed. Uh, when the coach talked to them on the bench, uh, they everybody listened. I didn't see anybody ignoring. Everybody yeah, which had was their the first... ears to the coach listening to what he was saying, which was a good thing. All right, so uh, oh, uh, Stick Tap Star Coach, his first victory as head coach of the practice. first winning goal. 
Uh, so, um, like I said, now we can put the hockey sticks away. <laughs> yeah, about time. Uh, Pecorino stopped 29 to 31. He had a .935 save percentage. That will help him going forward, statistically. Uh, Corey Crawford, well, he stopped 25 of 28. Um, he had a .893 save percentage. Referees in the game were Tom Cholinski and Chris Lee. Uh, linesmen were Ryan Daisy and Thomas B Tyson Baker. Head coach for Nashville was John Hines. Uh, head coach for Chicago is uh, Jeremy Collington. Scratches for Nashville were Alexander Carrier, Austin Watson, and Dante Fabro. Uh, scratches for Chicago were Dylan Strom, Dennis Gilbert, and Dylan Sakura. Well, good, he can stay there. Wait, Sakura's in Chicago? Okay, I gotta remember that when I do my preview. Yes, Dylan Sakura. Rockford stats. Because um, he's technically Rockford's uh, third leading scorer. You said Dylan Sakura right there. I'm not blind. I can read Sakura. I've been following him and his brother this year and last year. All right. Uh, okay. So we're good on that. And uh, outside of that, it was a good night. With that, the Pecorini is the only goalie this year with a goal and two assists. He, nobody this year has scored, obviously, if it hasn't been done since 2013. It is a really rare thing. It's Peck not that rare for a goalie to get an assist, but a goalie to get a goal, I was shocked tonight. I've never seen it until tonight. Well, we've seen Pekka go for it before but and he hit the, or hit the pause. Yeah, or, like I said, he'd miss. Like, he was attempting to do this for a while, but, yeah. So this is just another little, hey, 846 more to go, Pex, and then you can beat uh, Gretzky's record. <laughs> yeah, all right. You should have just started doing this, like, I don't know, 10 years ago? Maybe you did yet? Gretzky's record. All right. Um, outside of that, up next, the Admirals have a game tomorrow? Yep, tomorrow night at the UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena against the Rockford Ice Um, Hall. One second. Look, I, before we get into that... I do have to check the standings because every game is done tonight now. Yep, Minnesota lost to Calgary 2-1. to one. So we'll see where this leaves us. Mm -hmm. Obviously the Blackhawks lost to us and we pick up two points. So yeah, I'm curious how did it all shake out? Alright, so that's not what we I are, You'd need the uh, century. I need the wild card. Oh yeah, yeah that would work. Um, it's loading, loading, all right, so currently Nashville is now in fourth place with a game in hand against <coughs> Vancouver, <coughs> three points back, but the way Vancouver's been playing lately, yikes, um, they also gained a point on Winnipeg, and Calgary, uh, Calgary, they well, beat the Wild, so that kind of like, yeah. So it's right now, it's all about catching Winnipeg, who we are... Not that far behind. We're what, like two, three points behind? Five. Five. And we are five points also, be, or we are se uh, seven good. points behind uh, Colorado. And Colorado's on a two-game losing streak. Yeah, as far as our division goes. So our division... Um, it's stacked? Yeah, we've established that. <laughs> yeah, our division's the, one of the harder divisions to win. Um... By the way, I kind of am curious about that uh, Anaheim Ducks of uh, Dallas Stars brawl they had, so I might go take a look at that later. So, uh, could I do my preview for the Rockford Ice Hogs tomorrow? Or? Yes. All right, they play the, the Ice Hogs uh, at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, puck drop. Yep. All right. Their leading scorer is Tyler Sakura, uh, 35 games played, 10 goals, 12 assists. Then we got Brandon Hagel. Uh, he's a rookie this year. Uh, that's uh, 34 games played, 13 goals, 7 assists. Then we have uh, Austin Whedon, 23 games played, 7 goals, 9 assists. He's also a minus 7. Yeah, and then we got Jacob uh, Nielsen, uh, 35 games played, 6 goals, 10 assists. And then another rookie, uh, what is that, Philip uh, Kershev, yep. uh, 29 games played, 5 goals, 11 assists. The uh, Admirals are currently uh, 
One zero and one against them. Yeah, this is our third meeting of the year. First one at home. The last two were on the road. Um, the last time they played us was back on December tenth. They beat us two to one in overtime. And then they played again on December seventh. Milwaukee won that one five to two. Yep. Uh, now do your goalies, and that's my end of the uh, preview. All Come right, on so out to the arena tomorrow. Uh, goalies, uh, they're, they've been split timing like we have. Uh, Kevin Lankinen has 15 starts. He has, uh, he's 7-7-1. Seven, seven and one. Uh, He has a 3.17 goals against average with a .905 save percentage. Uh, the other goalie is Colin Delia. Uh, he has uh, 14 games played with a 3.04 goals against average and a .901 save percentage. Um... Who do you think will be a net? Neither goalie have a shutout. Yeah, our goalies have a few combined. Yeah, um, statistically, in their last ten, they're four and six. Um, not but we're not doing much better. We're yeah, five, they're three and two. In fourth place in the uh, Central Division. The Admirals are currently riding a three-game losing streak, which is the first time that's happened since probably earlier this season. So, uh, let's see where we're at. Uh, we are still in first place in the league. Which not by much, impressive. but... <laughs> we're still in first place in the league. Not by much, but we're still there. Um, if you go by win percentage, Tucson's in the fir in first. But they play less games, so... Um, oh, we're playing Rockford. We should beat them. Oh, yeah. um, Rockford's played 35 games. They have 18 wins, 16 losses. Uh, zero overtime losses, and we handed them their one shootout loss. Yeah, and Milwaukee has 37 games played, uh, 24 wins, 7 regulation losses, 4 overtime losses, and 2 shootout losses for a total of 56 points. So, wow, uh, I can actually read that? Yeah. Woohoo, my vision's getting better. Wait, that's uh, 54 points. I yeah. read that wrong. So, uh, come on out. Uh, first 2,500 fans get a clear tote. Yeah, it's a, basically a clear plastic uh, tote bag thing. It'll make it easier for going through security. Yeah, so that way they don't even have to open up your bag. They just look at it. Yep. Personally, I think you should just have a mesh bag to satisfy all the hippies that complain about uh, plastic. What? Well, uh, am I going to get as yelled at for saying hippies? No, because you didn't say environmentalist. Now you did. Mm -hmm. We're going to get yelled at. Nah, we're okay. Because it is it is an environmental thing. We understand that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't mesh be more environmentally friendly? But I don't see people. I, I mean, I don't see people throwing them away though. No, nah, because a plastic a plastic tote bag. It's not like a garbage bag or a grocery bag you would get when you go shopping. It's a good quality plastic bag. It's reusable, definitely. So yeah. Um. So yet again tonight, stick taps to. Uh, Colin Blackwell for his first pro goal. Uh, Pecorine with his, his first, first pro goal. And our coach for his first uh, coaching win with the Predators. Correct. So the coach is now at 500, but you can't really give him that loss. That was still a oop. He that was, was his first game behind the bench. And not to mention, he was hired that morning. Yeah, he was probably tired and like a whirlwind of stuff going on. But it was more of a scouting game for him, I would believe. Yeah. You, I mean, looking at it for us, it was even a scouting game tonight. Like, we were trying to see what he changed, and he did change some he things. He changed something, because they played great tonight. Like, there were all those blocks. They were playing good defense. They were playing up-tempo. They <gasps> were taking be, smart shots. Hey, hey, be shot. quiet. We said good defense. Last time we did that, we lost at the Winter Classic. Crap. <laughs> they played crappy defense. <laughs> Um, but no, we can't uh, say that with a straight face. No, they they it was a good complete game. Yeah, we're um, happy with it. That's why tonight's a happy show. Um, they did get a little bit behind the eight ball at the end of the game, but they pulled it out and got two go two empty netters to to kind of clinch it for them. So, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, twenty oh two West Howard Avenue, and as you can see. For us from Milwaukee to Nashville. Our future is so bright, we're shining. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.